Hello, my dear children. A very warm welcome to our Saturday story session. And a happy new year to all my dear children. So, let's start with the story session today. Do the tale, the Jataka Tales. And the story name is The Tricky Wolf and the Rats. Let's find out what's there in the story. Okay. Once a hungry wolf was hunting for food in the forest. Suddenly, he spotted a troop of rats marching towards him. They were led by a huge bandicoot. Who was the king of the rats? Ah, there's my lunch, the wolf exclaimed. Quickly, he hid behind the tree so that the rats wouldn't see him. Unaware of his intention, the rats marched straight past the tree behind which the wolf was hiding. Mm, if I catch one rat and eat him, I shall be full for now. But the rest of them would escape and be on their guard. The wolf thought, There are so many rats. I must think of a way to trick them all so that I shall not run out of the food for months. The wolf decided to follow the rat and reach their hole. Led by the bandicoot, the rat trooped into the hole. When the last rat had entered the hole, the wolf called out of the hiding. He had hit upon a brilliant plan to trick the rats. The wolf stood outside the rat hole on one leg with his mouth open and stared at the sun. He waited patiently in the in this awkward posture till the rat trooped out of their hole once again. They were surprised to see this wolf. Why are you standing like this? The bandicoot asked. If I stood all my four feet, the earth would collapse. The wolf replied. But why is your mouth open? The suspicious bandicoot asked. I live on air, which is my only food, the wolf replied. Why is your street, why are you staring at the sky? The king of the rat asked. I worship the almighty sun god, the wolf replied. We are lucky, the bandicoot exclaimed. We have a saint in our midst. We shall pray to his saint every morning and every evening, the bandicoot declared. The wolf hobbled away happily on one leg, thinking, The wolves actually believe me. My plan is working. After that, the rat started worshipping the wolf. As soon as they finished worshipping the wolf, they turned on and marched back into their hole. In a single file, the wolf picked up the last rat that was about to enter the hole and had a hearty meal. This continued for many days. But soon, the bandicoot suspected that something was wrong. His suspicions was confirmed when his minister informed him that many rats were missing. That saint looks rather healthy for someone who survives only on air, the bandicoot said. He appears to grow healthier as many subjects go missing is 
He responsible? Well, we shall find out, he said to his minister. That evening, the rats emerged from their hole to pray to him, the wolf. The bandicoot moved to the end of the line instead of leading his army. After their prayers, the rat turned and marched towards their hole. The wolf jumped on the last rat to catch him. But the bandicoot was ready. He stepped aside and the wolf missed him and fell on the ground. You shall be punished for killing my subjects. You villain! The bandicoot exclaimed as he jumped on the wolf. Attack! The wicked wolf! The minister ordered the rat who jumped on the wolf and pinned him down. You have played your trick for the last time, you wicked wolf, the bandicoot cried as he bit the wolf throat and killed him. After that, the rats made a merry feast. So, oh, my dear children, did you enjoy the story of the tricky wolf and the rats? See, what did we learn from this? That we should not harm anyone. What happened? Wolf had tricked them and he was enjoying and he was having feast on rat. But at last, poor wolf got caught and all the rats was feasting on the wolf. So, we have to be very careful and we have to be good to everyone. Okay, I hope you all like this story my dear children. See you next time. Thank you. Bye.